Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do my everyday simple makeup routine. This is the routine that I usually do whenever I'm going to go to work and I'm running out of time. I'm usually always running out of time. I'm just one of those people. For the most part, if I'm not going to go anywhere, I usually don't do my makeup at all. But this is my pretty much my running late simple everyday routine. So right away I'm just going to start off with my lip mask. I have been putting this on like every day. So I'm going to do the brows real fast with my precisely my brow pencil. I'm not going to do anything too extreme because this is whenever I do go to work or we go out to get groceries. This is just usually the routine that I do. I try to simplify it as much as I can. And I'm going to use this. It is very loved and used. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Tint. Also, I know some of you guys know that I got lights that I put on my um, shelves back there and they're LED so they flicker whenever I film so those aren't going to work out until I can figure out how to do it how to not make them flicker on camera so yeah that's a bummer but hopefully I can figure it out soon so that way I can start using them. Next I'm going to use my Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. I've been using this a lot. This is what it looks like. It's just like a putty. So for today's video topic, I wanted to talk about my other love, my other hobby. My three hobbies are makeup, video games, and fitness. I'm going to use the Tinted Moisturizer today by Pure. So because I am being on the healthier side, it was always my intention to incorporate um, healthy videos so that I can show you guys how I work out, the kind of stuff that I eat, and all that good stuff. I wanted to talk about it today because I've already been eating healthy and being healthy for a few days now and today I woke up feeling good you know I think now that I've been now that I'm getting into the swing of things with being on the healthier side again I definitely want to incorporate some videos I have this planner that I like to use and I kind of planned out my whole morning last night on paper and then today I woke up at like around 7 I'm gonna use this I had my coffee I worked out at around nine o'clock which I was very proud of myself because it has been probably f four five months since I've worked out and then I had a healthy breakfast right afterwards which I wish I would have filmed but it's all right because I can definitely do that in the future sorry about that guys my memory card was full so yeah um with this whole working out thing and being healthy now I always I've always kind of done this, like I'll always be healthy every year for, you know, X, X amount of months. And I always get the question, why do you, like, why are you watching what you eat? Or why are you working out like you're already so small? And there's three reasons why. And I wanted to talk about those reasons. I'm going to go in with my Fenty loose powder. So the first reason why I work out and I eat healthy is because I simply just love to do it. I love doing it as much as I love makeup or as much and as much as I love video games. I've been working out off and on for about six years already. And I have learned so much. I also love pushing myself and then my skin. You guys will see that over the next few months my skin will get 
um, better and I won't break out as much. So that's a plus. As you could tell, I have some breakouts right now on my chin. And... But I haven't gotten no new ones since I've been eating cleaner. When I'm running late, when I'm doing my everyday routine, I want it to be easy as it can be. So I like to use this palette right here. It's a full face palette. Blush, bronzer, and highlight. You could tell I use this one a lot. <laughs> okay, so the next reason why I love working out is because of my mental health. Working out makes me feel so good mentally. Like I'm not... Like I'll be happier. I will be thinking negative thoughts and then my mind is just so much more relaxed having a disability could really mess with your mind i feel like but when i'm healthy i'm thinking a lot more positively about the situation and instead of thinking you know on a negative note I'll think more on a positive note and I'll think more along the lines of just being thankful that I'm alive and being thankful that I can work out, that I'm able to do the things that I like to do. So I think that's one of the things that a lot of people really don't realize with um, being healthy and how it affects your your mental health. but. For me, it changes it drastically. So with this palette, I'm doing a blush. I'm doing bronzer, blush, and highlight all just right away. And then I also, I do not use eyeshadow for the most part whenever I'm going to work or on a daily basis. I just, what I do is I go into the bronzer and I put it in the crease and then I put it on the lower lash line and that's what I do for eyeshadow on the easy days. So the last reason and this is the most important reason for me five pounds is a huge difference and being swollen it's a huge difference because of my prosthetic legs and I get that like that people don't quite understand that or put that into consideration that's not the first thing you think of whenever you think of why am i being healthy but for being disabled i do live quite a normal a normal life i walk a lot i work at a place where i have to stand almost all day and I'm very aware that if I want to keep living my life the way that I do and do all these things, then I have to, then I can't let myself go. Because I know what that feels like. And it does not feel good. I have gained a little too much weight before. And there would be times where my legs would get swollen and so I wouldn't, and just certain issues would occur, so I wouldn't be able to walk for like, like two weeks. And I mean, I'm someone that does a lot of stuff, so it really weighs down on me. So, so that's a big reason why I can't let myself go. So back on the makeup, this is what I do for the eyeshadow. All I do is I come in here in the crease. And I put the bronzer, so that way it kind of looks like I did something, but I don't put nothing on the lid. When I'm running late, nobody got time for eyeshadow. It takes me about, I would say, anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes to do this look. So yeah, I think a lot, I think a lot of you guys will like what I have planned for the future as far as living a healthier lifestyle. I think it'll be very motivational and inspirational. Because I feel like the way that I work out and the stuff that I do is very... 
I think it's definitely something that I think you guys, my viewers, should see. Oh yeah, I don't think I said, but I'm using my Bad Girl Bang mascara. I think mascara is the thing that I run out of the most. I will say that I'm not much of a cardio girl. I'm all about weightlifting. Weightlifting to me is so much fun. And it's just so much fun whenever I get to, as the months go on, I get to lift heavier and heavier. And I'm not saying that I'm like that, that strong or anything. I think the heaviest that I've been able to squat and deadlift was so far has been um, 80 pounds and to me that's pretty good you know considering my situation and that is basically the makeup look that's all I do for on a day-to-day -day basis it's so much easier not doing eyeshadow cuts a lot of time definitely using one palette definitely cuts the time This is normally what I look like when you see me at work, but before I finish the video, I just wanted to finish on the topic that I was talking about. I remember whenever I first started lifting weights, or working out with weights, I could only squat with 15 pounds, and that is crazy because I also remember whenever the first time I was able to squat with 25 pounds, I was so freaking excited. And it's crazy to think back because, you know, now I could squat with like 80 pounds. And it's just, I don't know, it's really something. I will say though, something that is very important to me is that I do work my way up very slowly. For instance, today I did my first leg workout in about five months. And I only worked out with 25 pounds. It was pretty easy for me, but... I still think that it's very important for me to start off again slowly. I definitely could have done heavier, but I've always been very smart about it. And I've prioritized myself to not, to really focus on not hurting myself. And I'm very proud of myself the way I take my time with the amount of weight that I lift because I'm a very impatient person. I think there's a lot of cool things that I can show you guys in the future videos when it comes to health and fitness and I'm very excited about that. I also don't put anything on the lips. Like you saw earlier, I put the lip mask on and that's all I do with that. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. My next video will be my Valentine's Day look. I did a poll and you all voted that you wanted to see the pink eyeshadow look that I did in my TikTok. It will be up on February 1st. And then I'm also going to do another Valentine look too, so that won't be the only one that I post. But that is all for this video. I will see you guys on February 1st. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!